What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and today we're talking about wallets. Now in earlier videos uh, we've looked at uh, anything from the elephant wallet which was pretty much a rubber band around your cards and money uh, to a more solid metal construction in the True Virtual wallet and actually for the past few weeks I've been using a simple money clip with an extra pocket for some cards which are all very nice solutions uh, by themselves but not as nice as this. This is the wallet by the Frenchico. And it's a, a very versatile, uh, clever solution in very high quality materials. Uh, we looked at their uh, key fob solution as well. Uh, as you can see, it's in the same color. I got them as a set. Uh, and this is actually a very good example of how nice a product can be, but also how functional a product can be. Uh, usually the problem is that it's a product is either one or the other. Uh, but it's actually very nice. This has been my daily driver, so to speak, when it comes to carrying my money and cars around. Uh, so I'm gonna show you, let's take a closer look. Uh, see if it is actually as good as they claim it is, uh, but I can already tell you it is. Alright, so here we are with the wallet in all its nice dark blue and brown leather. There's a whole range of colors available of course, uh, but I quite like this combination. I think it's nice and stylish and I actually got their uh, key solution in the same color scheme as well, which is a different video that I'll link up here somewhere. So the wallet, what do you get? Now obviously uh, the size is what matters first. Uh, you can see compared to my hands that it's super tiny. It's a bit bigger than a uh, bank card and obviously quite a bit thicker. Uh, they do carry a card holder specifically as well that only holds cards. Uh, this obviously holds cash as well as you'll see in a minute. Uh, but if you want to go even slimmer then the card, card holder might be for you. Now it's all nice calf leather all around. Um, you know it's, it's their signature uh, for their products I think. It's all high quality, uh, very well made. The stitching as well in the same color as the leather. Super, very nice. On the front here you have their little logo. Uh, and this is the first uh, stage, I suppose, which opens up and reveals your uh, cash. I also got some receipts in here. As you can see, nice and easy to select the bill you want. And you can just pull it out and use it that way. So that's nice. Then you get a little uh, card holder. I got some business cards in here. Uh, you can also put some uh, bank cards or loyalty cards or anything that you want right there. Uh, maybe stuff you don't use so often. Nothing here. And obviously the big absence here is a slot for coins. This is not really designed to carry uh, coins around. I actually have, uh, I used to have some coins in here. Um, that's the way you could do it, uh, but you know the risk of falling out is quite high. There's no dedicated spot for coins, so you're gonna either have to do without coins or find a different solution for you. I find that I don't use coins that often anyway, except for the occasional parking meter, but I have coins in my car anyway. Uh, so I usually care, carry a one or two euro piece in here, and that's it for me. Nothing here. Pull the clothes again and you see two leather tabs here on the top. First one is for your uh, mostly used cards in my case. Um, bank card, loyalty card, that's pretty much what I use mostly. You push it back in and the strap goes back inside so nothing much going on there. Same thing really with the uh, back pocket. Opens up in my case for cards less often used, driver's license and so on, but still important to carry around. And this as well, pop it back in and it's out of the way. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, it's two slots uh, for your uh, cards, the one that you use often, one that you don't use so often, and that's it. Uh, they do warn that the magnetic strip in here for the closing could potentially harm your cards. Uh, I suppose theoretically speaking that is possible, but the magnet is so weak, uh, you know, nothing is really going to happen there. You can see that, you know, if you put money on there, it doesn't really stick to it anyway. So the magnet is not that strong that it's actually going to destroy your cards. Now the clever thing is that this card is both RFID friendly on one side and access card friendly on the other. So you can have uh, your credit card, bank card in one pocket and maybe your access card to work or parking garage in the other. Uh, so you can still use it uh, flexibly enough in order to avoid uh, identity theft or card theft or anything, uh, but still uh, don't have to take your card out when you're entering the garage for example. So that's quite clever. So what do we make of this wallet? Is this the ultimate uh, portable money carrier? Um, I'd say in many ways it is, especially for me. I, I really don't carry any cash around except for the occasional bill. I don't really need coins in daily life except for a parking meter like I said, but then I have money in my car. Uh, and all I really use is bank cards, loyalty cards and occasionally a driver's license for identification or anything. Uh, so the double uh, tab system is really nice for me. I keep all the usual cards in one end and all the ones that I don't use so often but still want to carry around in the other. Uh, the cash is easily accessible. Uh, as well as the odd receipt. 
uh, and a business card is always good to carry around. So it fits my needs perfectly. Add to that that it comes uh, in high quality calf leather, uh, the product is very well made, it's well presented, it looks stylish and it's most of all really functional. It's fast, it works just like advertised. Uh, I didn't test the RFID blocking though, uh, to be perfectly honest, but it works exactly like they say it will and it is a very compact and easy solution. It's not so slippery that it falls out of your pocket, which is key obviously, um, even though I mostly carry around a backpack or anything anyway where I put this in. Uh, and altogether it streamlines your life, which is exactly what I wanted from uh, this wallet. It's not cheap though, um, but then again you get a nice quality product uh, that is unique in every way, because obviously with the leather, uh, you know, no two parts are gonna be the same. And I think for this kind of quality, it's worth paying a little extra. All in all, I like it a lot, uh, even at the price point. Uh, it really fits my needs perfectly, and for now, this will be my daily driver. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a quick look at the uh, wallet from the Frenchie company. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, please. It helps out a lot, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!